size and so you have to um, where where an animal takes two or three food sources um, you have to make sure that they have you're not putting everything so the the usual example is pigs need corn they need a um, oh, what is it they need a, a cereal they need a root crop and they need soybeans canola whatever well if you fill the food trough up with soybeans or canola or whatever you can't then put any cereal or any root crop or any corn into their food trough you have to make sure you know their food sources uh, if their food source is 40 percent corn only put 40 percent of the maximum um, food trough capacity of corn in there because otherwise you'll be stuck for all the rest of the stuff they need to eat good now I'll probably do two headlands here and then we'll go on to the next uh, up and down rows but this tractor definitely making good replacement for the the TTV6 um, and not that I had any complaints with the TTV it's just that um, it's horsepower is substantially lower than this one so we can do a few more jobs with this than we could with the Deutz and it's nice to have a red tractor instead of all green tractors that lined up right ok bear with me a sec I just need to make go off mic go forwards forwards is good I think that's another thing on the joystick it's actually it's got a couple of um, sort of tall switches um, which are configured for a fully manual gearbox so one is switch the range up and down and the other one is switch the gear within the range up and down um, haven't reset anything to use that this tractor doesn't really need it because it's it's effectively an automatic shuttle control however I think the only tractor we have left that's got that type of gearbox is the Renault and a lot of the time with the Renault I'm not driving it big switch combination I need to figure out um, there are a couple of things that I was I was messing with just to make sure the joystick worked so I loaded up a Elm Creek um, starter game jumped in jumped between the vehicles etc etc and the one thing I didn't figure out was how to open the uh, pipe on the harvester um, now fortunately obviously this help screen does tell me what buttons to use it's just that um, 
some of the buttons on there are numbered but on the joystick they do not have a number they have a nice little diagram on them so I need to figure out which buttons actually work the pipe and then also I think I've got most other things I didn't look at tipping tippers I haven't had to do that yet. We're going to have to do that maybe later today or maybe next time. Um, obviously the big thing we've got going forwards is when December hits, the silage hits maximum value and it will be time to empty the bunkers or at least it'll be time to empty the corn, the maize silage bunker. The Grass silage will not be ready for sale until December 3 earliest. I mean, technically, yeah, about 7 o'clock on um, December 2 night time. So probably not going to sell any on that day. But we can sell all the May silage quite early. Oh, beeps. This is where I wish I had GPS. I might add it to this tractor. Just because it is one of my designated fieldwork tractors. Although that said, if I do get a 12 meter cedar, this, this tractor wouldn't be able to pull it anyway. We'll see. I mean, obviously, bigger cedar, I'm not going to get one that has an option uh, or mandatory seed tank on the front. So the Zerian will be able to work with that. And the Axian should be able to as well. But this can do other things. Primarily spraying, weeding. Then may entirely replace the uh, the Renault as the go-to small equipment tractor. Uh, contract is thirty percent complete. Seed is thirty percent gone. So, not too bad here. Um, sorry, in patchwork. Good morning. Welcome to Saturday. We have a nice, brisk, patchy snow landscape outside today. Since the less than an inch we got overnight really didn't settle that much. Outside of medical issues I've had this week, not a lot's been going on again. Mrs. Osa's been tidying up the spare room and has brought a couple of beds so the kids can have somewhere to sleep when they come over. which will be nice for them. So they effectively they'll have their own room when they're here. And then the next stage is we need to take what they, uh, what was in that room and he's now in the basement and start clearing up the basement.
this time I need to be very um, what's the word for it um, uh, very territorial about my bench work because in the past what's happened is I've built bench work for model railways and then next thing I know there's a bunch of stuff on top of the bench work and Yeah, I can't. I can't build anything at that stage. So I have to be a little bit more careful this time and just make sure I have the benchwork is mine. Um, underneath the benchwork needs to be kept clear until I've put in all the cabling. And then you can put whatever you like underneath it. Preferably not right at the edge, but underneath it so that I can still access the underside and uh, not trip over anything that's sticking out. Okay, how are we doing now? I haven't seen a message to say how far along I am yet. Again. Getting close to 50% by the looks of it though, so that'll be good. And then this weekend at church we have the Easter play. Whatever that's going to look like actually, you know what? I'm going to put the lights on so I can see what I'm doing, that's good. Forty percent burn, really? Like, uh, we're actually using more seed than uh, we did for the first thirty percent, so that's a bit of a problem. I can't remember if oats plants at the same rate as wheat and barley, or if it's a lower density or seed is the time 12 26 no 12 47 46 47 so we're up to midday the Class Axion is about halfway done from where we last checked. It was about, I want to say, a hundred or well, one hour fifty ish minutes, and we're now down to fifty minutes. sure if this is actually a, an inefficient usage seeder um, as I've said before the you know, a direct drill will not remove the seeds that are already in the ground but there is the potential that because this is primarily a cultivator with seeding attachment it's not obeying that rule and it's actually cultivating the ground as we're driving over it Doesn't look to be, but still. The first 30% we use less than 30% seed. The next 10% we've used more. Now, yes, I'm playing with um, precision farming, which varies the seed planting rate depending on the soil type, but I'm doing a contract, which doesn't. So I should have a uniform spread of seed as we go. Let's 
but uh, that might not. I don't know. And the rain is on its way. The rain's about four hours, five hours out. And then we'll have to stop the field work. Fifty percent done. Forty-six, forty-five percent. So yeah, we're going to run out of seed on this. I had kind of hoped it would uh, last the entire field. And then the second seeding contract is wheat. Now the good thing about this is we do have seeds on on the farm from this year, so. The contract is kind of costing me money, but not so much because um, I already have the seeds so I can make use of it. It's one of the things I liked about, uh, as I said in the past, Farm Sim 19, we had the uh, sort of advanced seed mod, which you had to buy the seed for the crop you wanted to plant. So doing a contract was fine because I might have, okay, look, I've got a thousand litres of grass seed knocking around. I have no plans to ever plant grass seed on my fields again because I've got all the grass fields I want. Oh, there's a contract to plant a grass field. I can use up some of my spare seeds which otherwise would just lie there and not get used. The same was true of any other seed that I bought. I could use the spares that I may not be planning to use anytime soon. Uh, for some of the, sometimes on the farm, I would decide, yeah, I'm not going to plant barley this coming year. I'm going to plant wheat. I've got 2,000 litres of barley seed sitting on the farm. Well, let's do a contract for barley seed, barley, so that uh, we can use that up it's not just sitting on the farm doing nothing. But when you're playing vanilla game seed types, which is the only thing available in Farm Sim 22, um, you just have generic seeds. So I'm always going to use this seed for something. And if I wait till spring, I'd be using it to plant uh, maize in the grass fields. Oops. Again, I've got gear shift on my steering wheel, so I don't have to use the slightly more advanced shifting available on the uh, on the joystick. Although generally, I do have one hand on the joystick so that I can raise and lower the equipment as we're going. So it allows the vehicle to turn a little bit easier when it's not dragging a massive weight behind it. Okay. Actually it just occurred to me that Um, one of the things with uh, we're what about 40% of the way through the field so we're going to need more seed that's 40% of the contract done not 40% of the field there is actually more field than there is contract I'm so not sure how big the other field looked huge so uh, might have an issue there as well. We're going to need to buy more seed and 
unfortunately the other field is literally spitting distance from the store so I will be able to restock there and probably bring some home of course the issue might be how much can I bring home and how much is uh, left at the store because I would prefer not to leave consumables at the store if I can avoid it now we will also bigger seed a bigger seed tank less time to sub to plant and uh, less visits home this is only a 1600 litre tank so it doesn't really last long So I'm, I'm also considering <coughs> once um, once we do get a bigger seeder, may take the seeding attachment off this. I won't get a refund, of course, um, and we'll sell the seed tank, and I can then dedicate this to field cultivation, primarily contracts. Um, I don't see myself cultivating that many fields if I can get away since we've got a direct planter get a direct drill direct seeder that should cover our personal usages and just keeping the other equipment around means if I want to run out and do a couple of contracts and make some extra money I can because I've got the equipment, I don't have to borrow it from the farmer who's asking for the contract. How are we doing? I'm guessing we've got about 30% of this contract to do. Um, worker still has 40 minutes times three is two hours so he should be done about three o'clock 3.30 and then if that's true then in theory what I can do is I could hitch the sprayer back up go spray that field and all of our fields are done um, we just have one seeding contract left and then uh, hopefully I can get that done tomorrow oh actually no I probably can't get the spraying done today because it'll just be too dark and the crop sensors won't work so I may end up with uh, all the seeding contracts done and spraying left to do tomorrow. Then again, uh, I don't know, we, we haven't taken particularly long to get this done. I figure we probably got enough time before the rain comes. get the rest of this all done oh we're 90% complete uh, that's interesting so percentages just weird I do have a small amount of seed back at the farm which I am going to top this off with before we go venturing around the map. At least I think I am. Could just skip it. 
Okay. Let's go full Christmas tree. dark to see what we're doing and it's only 1.30 so not the greatest time by the depth of winter we'll be looking at sort of 11 o'clock to midday 1 o'clock it's going to be the daylight hours but that doesn't matter too much because we are um, we're just an arable farm. We have nothing else to do except crops and once the snow comes you can't crop. So that's fine. Okay. And now I'm just going to Treat this as a straight row until we're done. It's just easier. What angle am I doing here? 25 degrees. Hmm. Of course, the uh, the trouble you have using used 